Всем большой привет. Эйприл на связи. Играем в Face Noir после той глючной серии. Я надеюсь, что наши проблемы позади. Сейчас мы будем продвигаться по сюжету. И э, нам нужно спрятать девочку в, в, в каком-нибудь укромном месте. И давайте постучим в Сегрете <laughs> среди ночи. Вообще, она будет очень рада. Грета! Дамнацион! Грета! Answer me! Who is this? Greta, it's Jack. Jack? Do you know what time it is? I know, Greta, but I need your help. You can't make up your mind on what brand of whiskey to get drunk on? It's got nothing to do with booze. Open up. First, tell me why you're at the door to my place in the middle of the night. Open up and I'll tell you. I have no intention of opening this door unless you give me a good reason to do so. <laughs> what was that? The reason why I'm here. But that's a kid's voice. What trouble are you in? Let me in and I'll tell you the whole story. While I'm explaining the whole thing, Greta helps me with my busted lip. That ape at the port almost ripped off my whole jaw. I tell her about Sean, the girl, and why I came here. After some convincing, she agrees to take care of the girl. When she's done cleaning me up, she takes the girl upstairs and is kind enough to leave a bottle of whiskey on the table. Ignoring the fact that my cut lip might reopen, I down a few glasses. I need to relax, and nothing relaxes me like a good whiskey. Да, смотрите, у нас сейчас будет ретроспектива, специально показывают часики таким образом. Come on. Wake up. We need to get on board. What? Right. We have a boat to catch. Отлично, мы играем за Шона теперь. И будем вот все вот эти события той ночи теперь Короче, все события той ночи будут показаны с его точки зрения. No, I'd say that the sun is not shining today. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like there's anything besides crates, barrels and sacks in the entire part. Помните этот буй, который мы подвинули, чтобы и вытащить из него батарейки? Uh, хорошо. Нам нужно сесть э, на корабль, поэтому давайте поговорим со служащим. Is this where you're bored? Son, didn't anyone ever tell you to say hello before you start asking questions? I'm in a hurry. Yeah, you kids today are always in a hurry. Oh. You're always running around and only doing things halfway. Things take time, otherwise... You just end up with a bunch of crap. I'll keep that in mind, but I need to get on board urgently. Son, I don't know what brought you and that little girl here, but this isn't a tourist port. Only sailors and fishermen leave from here, and you don't seem to be either. If you really need a ship, you can go to Riverside. There, with a couple of bucks, you'll find dozens of well-dressed sailors. We'll be more than happy to ferry you around the East River and tell you all the juicy details about the city. I'm not a tourist and I need to leave from here. Now. The only way for you to leave from here is as a sailor. No nautical documents, no access. I have to board. It's a matter of life and death. I'm sorry, but like I already said, without documents, I can't let anyone leave from here. Uh, forget about it. Whatever. Подожди, так уж что у нас нет документов? Съесть документы. Here are my papers. Hmm. So your name is John Ford. 
Right. A case of homonymy. What ship do you need to board, John Ford? I don't remember the name. Sorry, son. But you'll have to tell me the ship's name or I can't let you board. The first one that sets sail. Sorry, son. But you'll have to tell me the ship's name or I can't let you board. Forget about it. Whatever. Он не сказал странный тип, он сказал, ну и ладно. Подожди, как... Saint Marie. That... No, it isn't working this way. Saint Marie, maybe... А, ой, простите. It doesn't make a... uh, да, возможно, что... Разве это не... No, it... It doesn't make... Салфи... И раз у него есть салфетка, значит, она ему зачем-то нужна. Туда нам не пройти. These wooden crates seem to contain toys, at least judging by the logo on them. Возьмешь палку? If I need it later on, I know where to find it. Better leave it here for now. Oh, okay. Pretty pointless to carry around. Ну да. Там смола, помните мы. Нам нужно было соединить кр... can with a black substance inside. Maybe pitch. Ну да. Может позвонить? It's sad, but I don't have anyone to call. Oh. Yeah. It's a public telephone. Да. No, I can't use the car. Based on how things are turning out, the only way I can leave this city is by sea. Mm -hmm. sure. There are some empty bottles. I'd say that it's Grog from the label. If they were full, the thought would have crossed my mind. <laughs> but since they're empty, I don't need them. Okay, давайте еще раз поговорим. Mr. Fo the Saint Marie. Saint Marie something. I, I don't remember the whole name. The Saint Marie de la Mer. I know that you aren't a sailor or a fisherman, but at least try to study your part better for the next time, son. There won't be a next time. One last thing. <laughs> the girl's boarding documents are in order, but her name isn't on them. Is she your daughter? Yes, she's my daughter. What's her name? Emily. Emily Fard. Okay, the documents are in order. The Saint Marie de la Mer will dock in a few hours. Thanks. Good luck, son. You'll need it. Right. Этот... <laughs> Вот этот моряк, он воспользовался возможностью по Jack. поучать чуть-чуть. Джек. Грета. Джек. Ну да, ему надо было поспать. What name? You were talking about an Emily. Who's that? I... no. It's no one. I just had a bad dream. Speaking of which, did you take care of the girl? Yes. She's sleeping peacefully in my room now. Maybe you better go to bed too. You're dead on your feet. I can't leave the girl here and go away. Calm down. I'll take the opportunity to clean the joint a little. Oh, you should also tell me what do I have to do with your new friend. Who? The Chinese cab driver. Ah, Sean. I almost forgot about him. I'm not crazy about the idea that he might be going around telling half the world that he found a girl at the port. It's not like you could... Keep him here? I know I'm asking you a lot, Greta. Don't worry. I'll keep him here until he wakes up. 
but you owe me a favor. As soon as this thing's over, I'll buy you dinner at one of those clubs on the Upper East Side that you like so much. Sure. Anyway, get out of here before you fall asleep on my bar again. Да, он походу ей уже обещал до этого, но никогда не выполнял свои обещания. Да, потому что такой своенравный человек и не каждому понравится такое, чего-то. Не каждому понравится такое поведение и, в принципе, вот такие люди, которые ну, такие, скажем так, ироничные, саркастичные, они обычно достаточно, ну, как это сказать, сами по себе, да, и э, не, сложно сказать, что у них обычно, ну, обычно не очень много друзей, поэтому вот так вот у него и получается, что нет работы из из его характера, то есть он может быть и профессионал, но из-за того, что он ну, тут понятно, что ситуация еще плюс ко всему это депрессия, это великая депрессия, да, этот экономический кризис, все плохо, но и плюс ко всему вот его характер такой. Но, конечно, как герои э, фильма или игры, он просто, просто замечательный. Да, да, да. Пойдемте домой тогда. Не помню, куда нам домой-то. Так? There's nothing interesting there. А, вот. А, Славанский. А, он тут. Good evening, De Niro. Hi, Slavonsky. I guess you got my letter. Yes. Thanks for your kindness. Okay. So you know I'm not joking. And I heard about your mishaps tonight. It was definitely a bad night for you. Where'd you get this information from? I always know everything about my renters. I like to know what people who live in my apartment are up to. Right. No vested interest there. Exactly, De Niro. If you want to avoid any unfortunate problems, I suggest you pay me that back rent you owe me. I wouldn't want anyone call police tonight and tell them some bad things about you or your habits. Are you threatening me? Absolutely not. But to be safe, you could pay me what you owe me. I already told you that I'll pay you next week. Heard that old story too many times, Daniel. I want my money now. Damn Russian skin flint. Давайте мы. Давайте заплатим. Here's your money. Okay, Daniel. This way we can get back to our pleasant on the rental relationship, huh? Keep the money and your pleasant relationship. Anyway, I want to show you my loyalty to renters. I find out about your misadventures from police detective. A police detective? Da, one Ballard. He woke me up in middle of night to ask about you. And when he found you weren't here, he asked to see your apartment. Did you let him in? Of course. I don't have any intention of upsetting police to protect a renter who always pays late, like you, Del Nero. Tell me about this police detective. What do you want to know? What kind of guy was he? He introduced himself as Detective Ballard of State Police. He was pretty tall, had dark skin, was well dressed. He spoke kind of funny, seemed like a foreigner. What kind of he inter he was pretty What did he do when he went into my apartment? I don't know. He wanted to go in alone, but he was quick. He seemed unhappy when he left. Danazione. Malone is trying to frame me. Who knows what that guy was hoping to find in my apartment? I'm not interested in anything else. Good. Not Why the isn't the heat working? Problems with boiler doesn't want to turn on. Did you call a technician? Nah, technicians are good for nothing and want much money. Boiler is solid. A few adjustments, eh, it'll be like new. Until it breaks down again next month. 
Ну, в следующем месяце, пока не находится в следующем месяце. Goodbye, Slavonsky. Goodbye, Del Nero. Ну вот в этой ситуации я полностью на стороне вот этого Славан... Славанский, да, или Славанский. Я не знаю, как его фамилия произносится правильно. Потому что... Ну, слушайте, он же здесь живет все-таки. Ну, я имею в виду Дельнеры, и э, если, как я понимаю, он постоянно ему обещает на следующей неделе, на следующей неделе, и э, он управляющий, и так как ты здесь живешь, ты должен платить за аренду. Ну, вот, вот в этом смысле, конечно, я не согласна с Дельнеру. Э, не надо хамить когда человек просто... Э, когда я... Либо, допустим, э, домовладелец, или, скажем, там, квартира, да, или там домовладелец, или просто хозяин квартиры, он требует деньги за аренду, но в этом ничего такого нет. Да, хорошо, что в этот раз ты сам включаешь свет. Ну, они, наверное, должны были какие-то... Ой, он странно ходит. Да, наверное, какие-то... Что-то он взял, нет? Давайте посмотрим. Так-то, мне кажется... А, ну подожди, нам же надо поспать. Да, вот Еще один флешбэк. While Emily is asleep in the cabin, I sneak for a smoke on the deck of the boat. We'll be off to Canada soon, leaving New York, Professor Zindler, and this whole mess behind us. We made it. We're safe, I think. But the barrel of a gun between my shoulder blades makes me think otherwise. It's the Turk. He found us. With a sleight of hand worthy of a surgeon, he slides his hand over me holster, puts on the safety, and takes me gun. He pushes the gun into me back and starts talking with that horrible accent of his. He's talking about something, but I'm not listening. I'm too focused on finding a way to get out of this situation. But I can't think of anything. If I make one false move, the Turk will pump my gut full of lead. All of a sudden, fortune smiles on me. A big wave hits the boat, sending it rocking. The Turk loses his balance. A fraction of a second, and I'm on him. His gun lets off a shot. I ignore it. I don't have time to figure out what it hit. I gather all my strength and head for the hold. The Turk falls like a sack of bricks. That should keep him in line for a little while. Grabbing Emily, I get off the boat. They know where I am, and I have to hurry up and run away. I don't have much time. I have to find a place to hide Emily. If the Turk got to me, it won't take the others long to get here too. Oh, that's all. Ну, нам нужно спрятать ее на этой верфи. The door is locked with a padlock, but it's been partly corroded by salt. If I could find something to use as a lever, I could break it. Давайте. По-моему, вот это... Вот этот рычаг был, да? Сломан. О, отлично. I was able to get a part of the plate off. Угу. Может, ты его... В... Как рычаг? By using that piece of metal as a lever, да. I should be able to break the padlock. One good hit and the lock breaks without any problems. I try to get Emily to enter the shipyard, but she's afraid. I put one of my darts around her neck and I tell her we're playing a game. I'll count to 30, she has to hide, and I'll come looking for her. I'll whistle every now and then with my horn, and she has to do the same when she hears it. 
I tell her to never come out of her hiding spot because I have to find her. If she hides well, I'll give her a toy all for herself. Emily heads for the shipyard. From her eyes, I can see she didn't buy the story about the game, but she knows she needs to do it. The kid's on the ball. The hole in my lungs was getting worse and worse. It's starting to get hard to even breathe. With my last bit of energy, I head towards the entrance. I get to the outside telephone near the harbor master's office and I call the police. Their intervention won't help much, but at least it will put a lot of people on guard and that will put the brakes on the Turks' friends. Then I call the last person I ever thought could help me, Jack. I cover the telephone with a handkerchief so he doesn't recognize my voice. If he knew it was me, he'd never come. The telephone starts ringing and someone picks up on the other end. It's Jack answering. I make up the first lie that comes into my head to get him here. Halfway through the telephone call, the lines dropped. They cut the electricity in the telephone lines. They're here. I did everything I could, but now all that's left is to wait for the end. And I certainly don't want to do it here. If I have to die, I want to do so somewhere decent with the sound of the waves in my ears and the sight of the moon slashing through the rainy sky. Yes, it's a good place for a goodbye. Да, такая вот история. Да, на тёне. I keep having these dreams. If you can call them dreams, they're so real. The port, the girl, Sean, and then that hitman, that Turk. It all seems to match. How is that possible? How can a dream be so real? How can a dream explain things I don't know? Maybe I better knock it off with the questions and get up. I must have slept a couple of hours. That's more than enough for a hardened insomniac like me. Он проспал Come несколько on, Jack. часов, а не два часа. Young, and there are people out there who would love to see you dead. And maybe one of them is the guy who last night was pretending to be Inspector Ballard. I'd better ask Slavonsky a few more questions. О, слушайте. <laughs> То есть нам э, вот этот вот эти флешбеки показывают в форме, как будто бы они, это все снится Дель Неро, то есть он как бы тоже в курсе того, что произошло. А... Наш... а, нет, смотри, его нет. А... Ну, ладно, давайте уже в следующий раз э, пойдем разговаривать со Славански, и, наверное, нам нужно будет починить отопление, раз он ничего не хочет с ним делать. И да. И дальше уже будем смотреть. Я не помню. Слушайте, я сама играла, но я фактически не помню ничего. Вот я помню только загадки, которые у меня вызвали огромную боль. А вот именно, знаете, как сюжетные какие-то повороты, ну, не сильно припоминаю. Тем не менее, я вам говорю огромное спасибо за просмотр. Я надеюсь, что вам нравится. Мы с вами встретимся в следующих сериях. И до скорого!